Have you ever arrived to a job and realized that you forgot to bring that number 30 you kind of asked for it, or you forgot to bring that color that she really wanted and asked you for last minute? In this week's video, we're going to show you how we prepare for the weekend and how we sort each job to ensure that we don't forget any important details. Well, my name is Alex from We Balloons, and we help balloon artists like you to scale and build a profitable business. Welcome back guys. In this episode, we're going to show you what we do to prepare for the weekend. And we're also going to show you at the very end what we do after the weekend. So basically on Mondays, we just dropped the kids off at school and Alex and I headed down to our local hardware store, which is Home Depot, um, to pick out paint for the uh, backdrops that we need to paint for this coming weekend. Here you can see Alex picking out the samples that she uh, thinks are the closest to what she's going to need and then she's going to pick one of the two. Now here I am back at the house a couple hours later, maybe an hour and a half later, um, and I'm putting the panels together in our living room. As you can see, this is the same space that we used to set up Alex's birthday balloons. Uh, this is a pretty good space that we have in the house for us to uh, do all these types of things especially now in the winter where I can't work in the garage normally I would do this in the summer in the garage but uh, because it's too cold I, I'm gonna do it inside here in the living room and once I get the panel set up um, I like to go ahead and start painting now if you can see those little pieces of wood that I put underneath the panels um, I do that to make sure that I don't get any paint bleeding through the drop cloth and into the floor here I am wearing my painting clothes and just to make sure that I don't get any paint on any of my regular clothes. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this color. Pretty cool, I think. With this first coat, I like to take my time to make sure that I cover the old paint as much as I can. And sometimes with these colors, you can't, you can get away with two coats. Sometimes you can get away with one coat. Um, sometimes it takes up to three or four coats. So I like to get started earlier in the week, Tuesday, um, no later than Wednesday to make sure that I have enough time to get all these coats on them if more are needed and to make sure that they cure and dry before I have to load them into the van. Here's the final product and Mrs. Wee Balloons replying to all emails, DMs and WhatsApp messages. Right now it's Wednesday and we're starting to prepare for the weekend. So I'm going to go through our schedule. I'm going to start writing the work orders for uh, some of the jobs that we have for the weekend. Um, I do have a customized work order sheet. Now this is one that I created uh, back in the days. I, as a matter of fact, I still wasn't working with three balloons full time when I created this work order. Um, and it's just a little bit easier for us to keep track of what we need to do and it's a bit more organized um, so just quick there's a few details here of the actual job the name of the client their um, instagram username if they have one the telephone number the date of the event the time that the event starts the um the address of the um, venue whether it's a venue or a home that's where the address goes uh, the setup time because the setup time is definitely going to be different than the time the event starts and any additional notes that we need to add. Um, there's also, I put a, a uh, row for theme or inspiration notes. So let's say that they want a um, safari theme, I would write safari. So I'm starting to fill in the boxes that we need and I started grabbing the colors that we're gonna be using. In this case, I, start, I, I grabbed the pink in all the sizes we only had a little bit of the 11 inch. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them aside. And right here, we're going to have my mother-in-law double stuff these um, in the next few hours. And then with the blue, we didn't have any of the blue available except the, the three footers, which we don't need to double stuff right away. Um, but I already did right here. So just throw them in the box and check them off. But these are, the, these are the three sizes. I have them in here for her to double stuff as well. One I make double stuff right now, maybe not. Just throw it in the box. This 
16 inch, the five inch, and those are all checked off. These will not be checked off until they've been double stuffed and they're inside the box. Okay, now I was grabbing all of these from here. So I have to figure out where they all are. Um, here's where we keep all of our double stuff. That's already, um, that's already been double stuff. So sometimes I gotta look into, into these four bins right here. Um, once I have all the sizes, I throw them down on the floor and I'll carry them over to the box. And I'll go in here, grab the five inch, the 11 inch, the 16 inch, and the three footers. So I know they're all there. What am I gonna do now? Check those off. So the only color that we have all four of the sizes that we're gonna use are the custom lilacs, right? Now I'm gonna do the custom yellows. That one, 11 inch, and we got the 16 inch. I gotta look for the five, so I'll be right back. Actually, no, you guys can come with me. Because I know I just saw them somewhere. They're probably in here somewhere. only a few of them so might have to get mother-in-law to do those so we'll grab some of these and where's the yellows and some of these and then we'll make sure that she double stuffs them so now that I have everything that I need um, with the exception of the ones that we still have to double stuff. I'm gonna go in to the work order and I'm gonna cross, or I'm gonna highlight the stuff that we still need. Because when I put this box aside, let's say that I decide to put it right here. I know when I see that highlighted that uh, it still needs something. Because once it's been filled with whatever we need, with the ones from here, then I check them off with a red marker. And that, that's an indication to us that it's already been, that whatever was missing, it's already been done and it's already been put in the box. Now I'm just gonna go on to the rest and I'm, not, I'm just gonna speed that up because I'm not gonna show you the same thing over and over. Uh, but that was just to give you a little idea of what we do uh, for each install as far as putting the colors together and making sure that we have enough for it. Okay, so just keep watching and uh, I'll show you guys what I've been, what we're going to be doing. If you are new to the balloon business and you don't even know what double stuffing is, it is really the art of getting new colors by mixing one color inside of another color. So for example, if you want to get pastel colors, um, you're going to pick a regular yellow, pink, blue, green, and you're going to put a white balloon on top and when you inflate that you're gonna see that there is a pastel color this is a very popular practice in the balloon community so definitely something that you need to try again if you're new to the balloon business so with this one here we pretty much have it everything there's nothing that needs to be double stuffed everything's been checked off even that number 30 in gold we have it in there somewhere it's in there all we need to do is customize or, or cut the vinyl for that one customized balloon and that's it but this box is ready now we're gonna fast forward to Monday I don't want to show you all the things that I've shown you before which is me inflating the balloons and throwing them up against the wall for Alex to come and then tie them up into our base um, we're gonna skip all that and then just jump over to Monday where Alex is already on her phone and on her computer replying to emails replying to phone calls calling back clients calling back vendors um, and she's already starting to set up for next week um, in the meantime my mother-in-law and I we're gonna go downstairs into the basement and we're gonna show you in a time-lapse um, all the things that we do to clean up after a busy weekend
We really hope you're enjoying this video, guys. The purpose is really to show you the inside that, um, of what we do before and after. For majority of um, people in the event industry, Monday will be the day off. But Monday for us is just as important as a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, really, because if I didn't get a chance to reply to people over the weekend, because most of the time we have back-to-back -back events, then on Monday is the day that I'm getting back to everyone, making sure that everybody's taking care of. At the same time, I'm reaching out to our clients from the upcoming week to make sure that we have everything finalized, or if they want to add balloons to their existing order, so this is the time, right? Any last minute uh, changes or last minute um, additions will be done on Monday, latest Tuesday, because on Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when my husband starts putting all those boxes together again for the upcoming week. Mr. Wee Balloons is right now putting away all the balloons that we didn't use over the weekend. So anything that was left, he's just putting it back in the drawers. But something very important that happens at this point is that when he opens the drawer and he sees that there is not enough, let's say white, right? Let's say that he's putting back some white that we had left from Sunday. Um, and then he sees that there is not enough white. Then he's going to write it down um, on, a, on a list. And that's how we keep up with our inventory. So we don't order our balloons when we need them. We order our balloons when we run out of them. So if we run out of white on this weekend, even if we don't have any white in our calendar for the next two weeks, we still gonna order white because we. it's critical for your business guys that you set a schedule. So for example, our Mondays, um, is when I get back to everybody from the weekend, anything that's spending, and then my husband is cleaning up the shop. Then on Tuesday is the day that we kind of take off. It's not really a day off for us because we still do things for the business. Um, on, on Wednesday, that's when he starts getting ready again for the weekend, just make sure that we have all the supplies we need. If we don't have a lot of work, then Wednesday again will be like a, um, like a very easy day. On Thursday, he is definitely getting ready for whatever it is that we have coming up. And then if he needs to go to the balloon store, then that's when he will be going on Thursdays. Friday, we are already inflating our balloons because we inflate the balloons ahead of time. So on, on Friday, he will inflate all the balloons for the weekend. And Saturday, Sunday, I mean, we are already working. If you but yourself, if you don't have any help, then you need to be a little, you need to be even more structured. So on Monday, you get back to everyone and you kind of glance at your schedule just to make sure that if you have any supply that you need to order online or if you don't have a store close by, then this is the time that you need to do it, right? So there is enough time for you to get all your supply. On Tuesday, you clean up your shop. On, on Wednesday, you put in all your orders together and making sure that you, do, you double stop. On Thursday, hopefully you start inflating at least your five inch balloons if you don't have enough room to um, to transport big garlands already pre-made, at least your five inches and your boxes and all of that. But that, the preparation is key for a smooth weekend. If you follow us on social media, specifically on Instagram, you would have seen a video uh, where I teach you how to deflate your balloons. And by the way, if you don't follow us on Instagram, I mean, what are you doing? Jokes, just go on Instagram and follow us. Send me a message and said, I found you on YouTube and now I'm here. I would love to hear that. But again, um, that's what my mom is doing right now. She's trying to save whatever balloons can be saved, um, specifically foil balloons, 16 inch balloons, or anything that's bigger. Uh, we just try to save if it can be saved. We don't spend a lot of time. Uh, we put them in bags if we think we can use them in the upcoming weeks. Um, if not, we're just gonna pop them. We're just gonna try to leave our shop as clean as possible and ready for the next week. I'm working on these boxes and I realize that there's something that we need that we don't have in stock. Um, I compile a list of the things that we need and also on that list I'll add things that we may not need right away but I know that we'll need in the future and we're running down low on. I'll go ahead and log into a couple of the uh, suppliers websites to make sure that they have them in stock depending on how much they have in stock because sometimes their, their websites may show the availability of things. 
um, I'll go ahead and place an order online that way I can secure some of that stock so this is what I'm doing right now I'm looking into a couple of websites and, and figuring out what they have figuring out what we need and how soon can I get them and that's basically what, what I'm doing right here that's all for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you let us know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the video and also give us any ideas of what you would like to see from us in future videos if you haven't already don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also click on that notification button on the little bell so you guys are made aware of any time we upload a new video stay tuned at the end of the video for some bloopers that i included in this video just so you guys can have a little laugh at our expense until next time guys peace In your natural state. Oh, where's the makeup? Where are the lashes? Huh? Huh? Where are the big hoop earrings? See the things I gotta put up with? Look at this. Look at this. I'm like, where, well, how come you didn't set up a camera so you could do the time lapse? Oh, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, look at you. I am looking at you. And so is everybody else. <laughs>